to the letter, this should be the place. Sorry, we don't serve the general public. I'm afraid you'll have to leave. Wait! We're not the general public! Well then, you must be a couple of wandering outlanders that snuck into the nation, judging by your attire. <gasps> Are our clothes really so... Uh, oh, uh, what Paimon means to say is... <laughs> hmm, the Yashiro Commission seal. This must be from Mr. Toma. It seems there's more to you than meets the eye. In which case, welcome to the Komore Tea House, a safe haven for the Yashiro Commission. Well, that sounds more like it. <laughs> it's been quite some time since I've seen anyone show up with a new invitation letter. I wish you two luck. their promise. I was beginning to think you'd forgotten about me. No moments! What? Is that dog talking to us? <laughs> Relax. No need to look so surprised. I take it this is the first time you've seen me in this form? Huh. So you didn't see anything like this when you were in Liyue Harbor? Ah, oh, now that you mention it, this does suddenly seem less out of the ordinary. <laughs> all right, all right. I've had my fun. Hey! You're this close to getting an ugly nickname, mister! <laughs> well, I've had some time to kill, given that I've been waiting here for you for so long, as was the case in Rito. So I came up with this little fun greeting for when you arrived. But in all seriousness, I would like to apologize about that little test you went through earlier. Though, it was quite necessary. It helped us determine whether or not to bring you before Miss Kamisato, and whether you had the courage to face the lightning alongside us. Hmm. Don't think that Paimon's gonna forgive you just because you're getting all serious now. <laughs> Sorry, did I overdo it? My apologies. Let me just say this. You've often found yourself skirting the rules from the very beginning, haven't you? Naturally, this is due to your unwavering and resolute determination. A long time ago, we had a friend who was much the same, but when the lightning struck... Ah, so you've heard of his story. Hmm. His light still burns all the more brightly. Yes, of course. I will bring you- But before that, there is one other place I was hoping you both would accompany me to. Oh? Where? I would like you to come with me to the statue of the Omnipresent God. It's still under construction now, but you can already see it from practically anywhere on Narukami Island. already heard of the Vision Hunt Decree. Before I try to explain, I should perhaps remind you first that Mondstadt is the City of Freedom, and Liyue is the City of Contracts. As for Inazuma, it's known as the Nation of Eternity. 
The Raiden Shogun is both the nation's most powerful ruler and its deity. The eternity in question is her endless and unchanging will to rule over Inazuma. As such, she relies on the Tri Commission to regulate the nation's affairs and the Sokoku Decree to limit the people's movement. The Shogun wishes to keep Inazuma in stasis, allowing the stream of time to flow from one end to the other without disturbing it for all time. Seems like every god has their own will. Of course, this is my own limited understanding. As for the reason behind the recent Vision Hunt Decree, perhaps the Shogun believes that visions grant people the power to change, and that her eternity doesn't allow for such instability to exist. Whatever the case, the fact is that the Raiden Shogun has dispatched the Tenryo Commission to scour the nation for visions, embedding each one in this statue. And this statue of the omnipresent god can be seen as Inazuma's symbol of eternity. But if that's the case, wouldn't you say that the Raiden Shogun is being... Oh, I don't know... selfish? <laughs> Only outlanders such as yourselves would ever dare speak out so directly against the Raiden Shogun. And yet, I agree. The Vision Hunt Decree is something that simply should not exist. And Miss Kamisato has been committed to fighting it since the day it was announced. Huh? Hey, are you okay? You look like your mind is elsewhere. Sound? What sound? I didn't hear anything. Did something happen? Yeah, you touched the statue, and then... And then what? Aspirations? Hmm. That would seem to confirm the saying. Have you heard it before? That when a person's ambition reaches a certain strength, the gods look upon them with favor. That is where visions come from. In other words, a person's vision represents their ambition. So if what you've just said is true, then the ambitions of these people are stronger than I imagined. All right, time for the next stop on our tour of Narukami Island, the Kamisato residence. <sighs> Finally! Y bueno amigos, recuerden darle like y suscribirse a mi canal.